Now, Synthra OS based on Android 12 4.2 version 1, maybe. And yes, the new update is here for the Redmi Note 9s Pro, Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. Maybe tool device users and maybe some other more. If you click this, you will be see you will see this kind of basic information everywhere. If you click on the maintainer name, you will see the information regarding the maintainer, some information, chipset which will give you the chipset, device, etc., etc., and the build number and some of these shortcuts are available. So something a new interesting UI available in the about phone. And other than that, of course, based on Android 12. Now, in other words, this version is not based on Android 12 L. So yes, no features are compromised here. Some things were implemented like Android 12 L quick settings panel, but not with, the, with those interesting animations which you have in Android 12 L. Let me show the default launcher which we have here. It's not actually pixel launcher. This is a launcher launcher which we have pre-installed, which means some better options, better customizations for you. If you want to install launcher launcher on other devices using any other custom room, you can definitely give it a try. Launch your magisk file, launch your APK file, everything. I have already made a video on. So make sure to check out the channel if you need these things. Some features are already present. If you move on to the quick settings panel and if you check out this internet tile here, you can see the Android 12 L style things are there, but not with those animations. You are able to notice some things are different here. But other than the other than else, there are no major differences here. Quick settings panel, of course, has a white background. You can add or remove the tiles by just simply click one time and you'll be able to do this without having to hold a drag and drop, etc. etc. It's quite fairly simple. This is the default wallpaper which you have. Moving on to some other things, for example, the camera app. The camera app is Google Camera Go Edition, which you have pre-installed. And honestly speaking, this is quite better if you compare it with the Snap Camera, which you have by default in some AOSP based custom homes. If Gcam you get pre-installed, that is quite helpful. If you have MIUI camera, that's quite good. But we have the Google Camera Go Edition, which is actually not a good, not a bad choice. Sorry for that. We have the settings and options available. In Nusantara OS Android 12 base, we have these kind of things available about phone Nusantara wings at top and other things are just bottom. The network internet and battery tiles, kind of tiles available in the settings app, which was available at number third. Things are basically same. Now let me tell talk about the Google photo storage for sure. Backing up photos and videos from this pixel is free and uh, free of charge and unlimited and it's, it was expected you have the full resolution backup for the Google photos in unlimited and that, that's good that's absolutely good if you need this then you need to try out this build on your device for sure other than else things are going really fine i think so this is about nusantara os latest version which i'm talking about we have the february security patch by the way it's not actually with the march security patch as expectedly we have the face lock fingerprint lock app lock everything is already included whichever you need everything is already here and let me show you one more thing here if i move on and check out the app lock here if i move on to the protected apps option you can see all these apps are almost uh, third party apps these are not the system apps i'm not sure why in some do custom rooms we don't have the support for the system apps by the way in some things we can see google camera go is there and calendar is also there from the system apps but not every app supports the app lock so kind of weird but not sure about these things other than else let's move on some bit of things about the customizations or features which you have in the nesantara wings of course the lock screen related customizations series bar and etc etc customizations kind of customizations are already present there you have the traffic indicators already included some users were looking for it battery related customizations some fingerprint related customizations and of course we have the game space available which is almost same like the dub fest OS. some customizations and themes for example the icon pack support fonts customizations and some bit of customizations here and they're already available some things which i just want to let you know i think so i've already shared with you also have the navigation bar style customizations available which you don't get in any other custom rooms so far whatever i have tried but other rooms might implement this very soon these were things i just want to let you know link is in the description so if you like this video don't forget to like and share this as always i will see you in the next video until then goodbye Like I'm floating through the air